Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday the 17th of February and today is Ash Wednesday. It's the start of Lent uh, and we're going to start a series of readings in the Gospel of John leading us up to uh, Easter Sunday and we're going to start this morning by reading John chapter 1 verses 1 to 18. So let's hear God's word together. In the beginning the word already existed the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light, he was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came into this very world he created, but the world did not recognise him. He came to his own people and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with a physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory the glory of the Father's one and only Son. John testified about him when he shouted to the crowds, This is the one I was talking about when I said, Someone is coming after me who is far greater than I am, for he, has, for he existed long before me. From his abundance we have all received one glorious blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, but God's unfailing love and faithfulness came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the unique one, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. Amen. And that's John chapter 1, verses 1 to 18, read from the New Living Translation. John's Gospel starts off in a lovely way. It starts off by saying, in the beginning, the Word already existed. And that Word is Jesus. There on, Jesus is referred to as the light as well. But what's wonderful about this is the fact that Jesus is God's Son and Jesus has always been with God. It says that everything was created through Jesus and with Jesus. Uh, and nothing was created except for him. And it says that Jesus is the one that brings light to everyone. What's wonderful about it is it shows that God has always had the plan. The plan that will restore or fix our relationship with him. It wasn't a case of God created the world and Adam and Eve sinned. And then God was scrambling thinking, oh, what can I do? But the fact that. Jesus is with God even before the world's created, even before Adam and Eve come into existence, show that God's plan was always there for us. God knew what would happen. So he built the world in such a way that it would show Jesus, show the world who God is and who Jesus is, and for Jesus to restore, fix, correct the broken relationship um, that we have. It's wonderful because it means that God has always loved us and always cared for us. And this journey of Easter um, is all about the journey of creation, first of all, in John chapter 1 through to Jesus being born uh, and then Jesus dying on the cross for us and then returning to heaven to sit at God's right hand to be the one that says to God, they've accepted me, they have my grace the fixing or restoring of our relationship. That's what Easter's all about. It's all about how God's plan come together so that we see his love in a very, very practical way. 
and that the barrier of sin between us and God is removed forever if we'll simply trust him. So as we start out on this journey towards the cross, as we start out on our Lent series, please, I would encourage you to, to tune in every day. If you can't tune in first thing in the morning, that's fine. Tune in later on in the day. Watch whenever you can um, as we just go through John's Gospel, as we explore the plan which God had for us and how that plan unfolds through the life of Jesus. It's a wonderful plan. It's the perfect plan. It's the only plan for us. Let's give thanks this morning. Heavenly Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you for the truths of your word, how, how it just shows us and teaches us how you've always loved and cared for us. And you've always had that desire for our relationship to be restored with you, knowing in advance what would happen. Lord, that, that's love so amazing, so incredible. We just can't get our heads around it. But we thank you for that love, Lord. And we thank you for how you planned it all through your son, Jesus. Lord, over this series um, in Lent, just help us to draw close to you, to rediscover that love which you have for us and that it would enrich our love for you and bring us closer to you. So, Father, we thank you now and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Um, trust that the rest of the day is a good day for you and you know God's peace and blessing. Um, please remember that on Sunday, we're going to start a series based around Lent as well called Worship in the Wilderness. Something very different, just something again different for Lent to um, help us to see and to focus upon um, God's plan. Uh, and if you're available tomorrow morning, if you want to drop anything off the church for um, Storehouse or for Women's Aid, the post is on Facebook for what they need. Uh, we'll be there from 10 till 12 and then 7 till 8 in the evening. And you can drop off any church envelopes as well. In the meantime, please folks, stay safe. Look after yourselves. Take care and may you know God's blessing. Bye for now.